Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. So I'm back with the, the Sura Paladin here. As usual, I got shafted for removal, although it was a little bit my fault. But mostly shafted by the arena. I gotta remind myself, I don't have two Stormwind Champions. I have one Stormwind Champion and one duplicate. Just happened. One changeling, one morphing abomination. Which is a good thing, but I'm not sure it's better than having two Stormwind Champions in the deck in terms of odds of it coming up. So my hand's a little bit less crazy slow this time. That's a good sign. There we go. That looks like a curve. Looks pretty good, actually. Step one. Pay one cost. Next turn, I could play the Pyromancer and coin and have him go off if I wanted to kill that, say. Problem is, if I coin out something bigger, then I will lose that option. So I'm wondering if I should trade him. Although, when this guy dies, I'm going to get a one cost spell that I can use with him. Hmm. I'm glad I remembered that. So I am, in fact, going to coin out something bigger. Because I want to get these spider tanks online. He may use him to take out my Clockwork Gnome, but then I can Pyromancer do one damage to everything, and hopefully that will rectify the situation. Okay, the cleave's a little bit more unpleasant. But that's okay, because that still leaves me with the initiative for putting out stuff first. Spider day, spider day. Do I sing that song every time? Radioactive spider day. Has a machine gun. Yes, it does. I didn't even pay attention. Was it? Oh, armor plating. That's why I didn't pay attention to my spare part. Because I got the crap one. It's crap. Um, now this four mana is not going to work out quite how I want. I could do two points worth of Pyromancer, get that low enough, and then kill it. Am I really getting ahead? No. Again, I could try and do that afterwards. Because having a, like, armor plating, I'd have to use the armor plating on the Pyromancer just to hit him up to a hit point so he would live. Because this thing would be trading with that, and I'd have an Avenge out, but it would only, it wouldn't trigger when my guy trades, so. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna play the Silver Moon Guardian. I'm going to operate under the assumption that I can use the stuff at my disposal, including the Pyromancer, to finish this guy off. This may not be the greatest assumption. My opponent's putting out a lot of meat, like strong stuff. He's just gonna go like that, huh? Okay. Just duplicate him, it's not the best. So if I were to hit them each, hmm. then Pyromancer, boom, boom. Because of his bubble, he would actually live. Now, I could also kill the bird with my True Silver Champion. Hmm. Leave the Yeti alive and just go for more beatings. You know what? I think I might do that. It's going to hurt. But I can do that and drop the Avenge, which will actually reduce my for justice. capacity somewhat. But I will also have the Avenge. So that hurt, but not as much as it looked like, because, of course, the sword ablates to health under most circumstances. My opponent's health is slightly lower. I have slightly more stuff in play. That sucks. I have so few weapons in here, that is incredibly obnoxious and effective. Stupid posers. If you hit me, you determine my secret doesn't trigger on attacking me, which makes sense, because none of the paladins, well, unless it was an eye for an eye, none of the paladins are going to trigger on that. You know, Battle Rage, so he didn't, he could have used this to kill one of my guys, and then Battle Rage got an additional card. 
I have no idea why he's doing it this way. Strikes me as odd. But okay. So I could save him to duplicate this guy. That would be pretty good. I'm thinking of using this to kill that. Saving my bubble for now. On the other hand, if I could go if I go like that, and then like that. Now see, because I only have one spell to work out with him now, so that's not gonna work as well. No, I think I'm just gonna do this. Remember, kill for loss. And play some dudes. I'm not gonna play the pyromancer, I'm just gonna go this way. A fair chunk of stuff out. If any one of them dies, one of them at random will get plus three plus two from Avenge, which is a pretty large chunk of stats. So, this guy has a lot of like big efficiency sort of minions. We're doing a real bizarre suicide race here, but I'm hoping it's going to turn out turn into the right kind of homicide race when I give all my guys plus one plus one. Just go super saiyan. This is what you were leaving my guys alive for. Enjoy. Remember, kill to loss. Enjoy what you have wrought. You left us both with armies until I could just make mine win. So, do you have a way to burn me down fast? It's possible. Oh, you're burning me down pretty hard. You're not killing any of my guys for my stuff. But am I just going to be able to kill you? That is the question. You have no taunt. So I have 7, 13. This would only give me 3 more damage in the immediate sense. That probably wouldn't do it. Now, if I duplicate this instead, that's 5 more. So I'd have 5, 11, 14, 18. I would be short 2 damage from killing him. Let me think. That's a pity. Now, if I just d copy him uh, to kill these guys, he can barely win that. He'll be able to barely win that. I hit it for a six. I'll still have a Stormwind Champion out. I hit for seven, actually. I'll still have a Stormwind Champion out. I may just die from my opponent's, like, rush tactics, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. I'm going to try the version of this where I kill his armies because I'm not winning this, right? Eleven. Six, seven. Yeah, it's just not going to do quite enough. Remember, kill to loss. So, all he's got to do is 5 damage. If he has like a mortal strike, that'll probably do it. This is Avenge, so let's get out Redemption. And make a dude. I probably should have just played the Geomancer, because this game's not going to last very much longer. He, has a, he either has a way to kill me or he doesn't. He's got a way to kill me. That sucks. Yes. Well, leaving, the army, leaving the armies alive did not work out for me. Yep, here's the show. I had a pretty good chance, though. Like, looking at what I had, did not seem like an unreasonable decision. And I was pretty close. I was like two armor away from being able to kill him that turn when I had the choice. Boo. Yeah, that's pretty frustrating. It's just it always just worked out to be slightly not very good to kill that yeti. Like the yeti was just a little bit too tough that it didn't seem worthwhile blowing all that stuff and nuking my own stupid army to to do the pyromancer play. But apparently with the miracle of hindsight I should have, even though building up a giant army sure seemed to be in my advantage since I had a way to grow my entire army. Twice. One of those six life guys would have totally saved my ass. I have two of them. Didn't draw one. Uh, okay, buddy, you're gonna fight with a 1-1. One -one. No sense putting out something you can just kill. 
So will I get a mech to help him out? I've got about four in here now. All of them fairly inexpensive. Three costs or less. That's not good. That's kind of what I was going to do. I think I'm just going to have to sword him. In the meantime, oh, I'm going to have to put out something to fight with him. And then, if that doesn't work, then sword him, I guess. That has to be a pretty tempting play. You don't want to leave my guy alive, because then I might be able to take him out. This way you get your bonuses and your card. Muster for battle? That seems like a really dumb way to deal with him, honestly. Now, I'm just going to play the naked Tinkertown technician. He's got no friends. I'm going to hold on to my Pyromancer. Although, Pyromancer and then triggering him with Muster for Battle would be a really bad combo. I'm going to play him because you either have to spend something to kill him, or he will take out your ghoul. He'll be fine. If it doesn't work out, I can just play the sword next turn. Eat a whole bunch of damage to destroy the flesh eating ghoul. What has he got? Really, the armor plating? Okay, now I just want to draw, like, one of my one cost spells. Let me draw a secret to trigger this guy. So that would be good. Ow. Well, he didn't kill my guy, actually. Never mind. Oh, wow, I can even silence him. That's okay. Now we're in business. I don't know why he didn't kill my guy. I think he's nuts. I should probably save that for something else, but whatever. It works for me. I have a not crappy army of one hit point guys. Their explosive shot or explosive trap would hose them pretty good. Muster for battle would give me a lot of guys. I mean, they'd all blow, but I think I'm going to do that because there's a chance that I could have, like, a crazy flesh eating ghoul play. In the meantime, let's play Minibot. So... Unleash the Hounds would be a hilarious way to obliterate me. Unleash the Hounds without a combo still wouldn't do that much. But Unleash the Hounds Hyena or Unleash the Hounds Timberwolf would crush me pretty flat. Nope. Interesting. Now one problem is I've got to make room for guys in order to play more. Can be done. Flesh and Ghoul costs three. It means I'm not playing the Fen Creeper. Fen Creeper won't totally stop these guys too much. Like I gotta trade a couple guys to get rid of that. I'm thinking it's it's just too tempting to do the Flesh and Ghoul. He'll be huge, but then I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy very well, or unless I use him and like a lot of these guys to kill that. Which may be worth it. But I gotta use something to kill that too. I don't know. Now let's just go. Let's just go on a rampage. This is probably a dumb way to do things. Hey, I triggered this in time. I was deciding whether to do him or that. I should have gotten a 1-1 one, one out of that. What the goddamn hell? That is stupid. Really? Like, you you saw. Like, I, I clicked that. It should have been going. Uh, that's less annoying than if it hit him. Than if it hit him. Okay. They're like a misdirect or just a freezing trap, probably. 
Uh, we're gonna play this guy in case it's a uh, Mr. Rex. I'm somewhat worried about that. Yeah, I figured. I don't see a lot of Mr. Rex. See, look, my thing didn't flip over. That's how much I totally got that guy. Ripped off is what I'm getting. Can't believe it didn't give me that 1-1. One, one. That was stupid. It would have improved my chances with a deadly shot. It didn't matter in retrospect, but it should have. <sighs> uh, Crusader's pretty good. I should really get this guy out. On the other hand, 8 mana I can do these two. That's also pretty good. I should probably kill that, even though it gives him a card. I might as well just not take the damage on my guy. God. Play him. Yeah. Kill that for a little growth. Her. Let's see how it goes. I got a little bit more army, but same number of cards. I know that one of my cards is pretty gonna have a pretty big effect here. Alright, that's unpleasant. I'm gonna have to sort that. Or copy it now. It's not really it's not really good enough to copy. I'm just sort it. Ah, I can't do two good things. You know what? Just for sake of using my mana well, maybe I will copy it. Cause I'm gonna obliterate this other stuff. Yeah. Fine. It's just I'm sure I could get something better, but this is gonna use my mana the best. For justice. I am going to end up with pretty severe board control. So, while it's tempting to save that for something even bigger, my turn was going to be kind of crappy by comparison otherwise. Well, I guess it's an 8-8 eight, eight for, eight, for 9, actually. That's still not that great. Um, are you dead? You're just dead. Turn just wouldn't end. So, despite getting gypped out of a minion, I did manage to pull that off. The Warrior game is annoying because it was so close, but I mean, I don't think I could have predicted that. So, we reached the fork, two wins, one loss. The real question is, what's going to happen next time? Please click the like button, though there may be a small chance of lycanthropy. Just Make sure the only animals around are good ones. You don't want to become like a were toad or were gerbil or something. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.